Natalie is here to share some fun ideas you can do with the family right in your own backyard. Hey, Nat. Hey, Tracy. How's it going? Pretty good today. And I love your setup out there. What are we doing in the backyard today? Yes, it looks like we are not traveling again on this long weekend, but that's <laughs> okay we've got lots of stuff to do at home so let's start out by camping and and you know what pitching a tent in the backyard is the best way to do it you still can go inside if it rains and plumbing that's the reason that's my issue with with camping mm -hmm. this way you have to go to the bathroom you just go inside i mean this this is the way to do it right <laughs> so i've got all of my coleman camping gear all set up here i've got my cooler i've got um, my marshmallow sticks or hot dog sticks. Um, and you know what? I can pretend I am anywhere when I am camping. You know, if the weather's warm, I can pretend that I'm in the Caribbean. Um, if it's a bit chillier, I could well, pretend I'm still in Ontario. So, um, so you know, camping always works for the whole family. And who, who doesn't love going somewhere different for the night? Absolutely. No, my kids are still trying to convince me to do that in the backyard, but like we are going to have to duke it out with the raccoons. I love the idea though. Put a tent anywhere. Yes. The kids yes. go crazy. They love it. <laughs> what do you have for us next? Okay. So now that we were in the backyard, we're staying out here for the night. Let's play some outdoor games. So um, one of my husband's favorite actually is called cornhole. I only discovered this last summer, um, but him and his friends have a whole league about it. So you take these bean bags, you can pick one of these boards up anywhere. This one has a picture of our dog on it. Um, and you know, it's a, it's a, it's a great game. It, it's literally just throwing a bean bag in the hole. Uh, it gets very competitive if you've got a competitive family like mine. Uh, you can also play uh, ladder ball which is, um, you know, another fun game. You can make up your own rules as well if you want to. And again, it's just, you know, tossing it and I'm, oh, oh, I did oh, it. I don't oh, know what that oh, means. Oh, I love but, that um, one. You have different teams. Um, there are lots of games you can play outside. There's spike ball. Um, there are so many different um, backyard games that you can pick up horseshoes. Um, or one of my kids' favorite, they like to set up an obstacle tent. Uh, obstacle course rather so you've got this this you can spin around on and you can sit and actually spin like that <laughs> so that's a good way to start off an obstacle course because you're a little bit dizzy afterwards that's so right cute. This, and these are all things that i have from from home uh so this is a pilates ring you know you have to walk with the <laughs> pilates ring i mean there are so many things you can do to make an obstacle course we like to do ones that are um the floor is lava stuff yeah. like that as well so you have to make sure you can balance on bits and pieces and you can make this out of anything and have it in your backyard it's so much fun Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. So for that Pilates ring, uh, we would use like, you know, the Nintendo Switch yes. thingy? Like that is such a smart idea yes. and turn that into part of the uh, the obstacle. Yeah. And you know what, it's a really good family workout as well, Nats, like great idea. So next up, we're reaching totally. for the stars. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is a good time where you can throw a little education in there and they don't even notice. You can print out um, a map of the stars you can uh, look at different constellations, get a telescope. Um, it can be a kid's telescope. You, know, you don't have to go out and spend thousands on something. And you can wrap yourself up all cozy in a sleeping bag. You can actually get massive sleeping bags that'll fit like four people and look at the stars. And, and how cool is that? You know, so just hang out with your family, talk about stars, maybe see if you can see a falling star and make your wish. I mean, this, the night sky has endless opportunities. It sure does. You know, we never, our biggest thing with the kids when they were especially the age that your kids are was just look up. So in the daytime, it was look up, yeah. look at the clouds. And we would sit there for so long in the backyard on our backs and just come up with the different shapes. The clouds were, that one's a hot dog, that one's a doggy. And you know, you can yeah. play that for a long time. <laughs> and the other thing we do is every time we get outside of the city, listen, we can't go far, but when you get outside of the city, we say to them, mm. look up, look at all the stars. We don't get as much because of the light pollution. But as soon as you leave that urban setting, it's a whole other world up there. So I think that's a beautiful suggestion, Nats. 
Now, you also have a fun little, this is also kind of educational, but a fun thing you can do um, <laughs> with the kids in the backyard. What do you suggest? Yeah, so again, you know, I like to teach them when they, when they don't know it and they're actually enjoying themselves. And we love bugs. Going out for a bug safari, we actually have some books. We can look them up on the internet and we think, okay, what sort of bugs are we going to see when we go outside today? Get a magnifying glass from the dollar store uh, and you can look for those bugs. Or it also works for birds. Head online, find some birds that will be native to your area. Uh, and you can look for the birds that will um, that are flying in your backyard, uh, in the trees surrounding the area. And it's something for again, getting your kids to look up and look around mm -hmm. and really take in their surroundings, and then learn about those surroundings as well, and learn about the creatures that they're sharing their backyard with. It's really cool. And every time the kids discover something new, my kids think it's the coolest thing they have ever seen. Mom, it's a potato bug! <laughs> it's a potato bug! You know, like we've like we're actually on safari and we've seen a rhino or something. Right. Um, but uh, it's it's so much fun. Yeah, they just they they love it. I so think it's, it's so much fun to just be in the backyard and you're on your own little vacation. Listen, I think it's 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 pretty awesome to get them to reconnect with nature. And then what we would do is come up with a little story as to why the bugs cannot come inside. So oh. we'd say, you know, this is, they have to stay oh. out here <laughs> because this is their habitat and the potato bug doesn't want to come inside in the jar with us. They need to be free. So that's an important mm -hmm. part of the story too. Yeah. Great ideas, Nats. I love it. <laughs> You've got us all excited for what to do with our families over the weekend. Thank you for that.